Okay, our last notes on learning will be learning by observation. Some really interesting things. Uh, we're gonna talk about these notes and they're very short, okay? So uh, we've talked about classical, we've talked about operant. Now let's just talk about by learning by watching other people do things, okay? So there's some really, uh, really interesting studies have been done about learning by observation. So first of all, observational learning is just what I said. Um, you are looking at other people in the environment and learning from what they do and their actions. So social learning is going to be in a group of people. This is a lot of experiments done with like monkeys. So the, the saying monkey see, monkey do, uh, that is comes from observational learning, meaning that they did these experiments where they saw had monkeys like watch someone eat like peanuts in a certain way and then they took the monkey to another room gave them peanuts and they did the same things so you can think about some weird kind of things that your parents do that you find yourself doing over time um, or your friends like you kind of pick up on the things going around you so this is called modeling meaning that people are able to model behaviors and children tend to pick them up we talked about that in the last notes but children that are spanked or in aggressive homes uh, tend to model those behaviors as they grow older they might have a doll at a young age that they give spankings to versus someone that's never seen that happen would not actually do that so there's some really interesting brain research done and scientists found something called mirror neurons. They're very curious why monkeys and animals and children would do whatever their parents did or do whatever their peers did. And they found that when they watch something happen, there are certain type of neurons that fire to mimic whatever was just done. And this is a really important role in learning, especially as a child, right? So watching someone else eat, watching them like how uh, interact with people, uh, walk, talk, they're mirroring, mirroring what you're doing. So in the beginning stages of language development, most of the time children are just parroting or, or repeating what is said and that those eventually turn to learning, but at first they're just repeating. Okay, and then this is a neat thing. I'll put some little blurbs so you can see, but this is looking at a brain image of two people. The one on the left, this one right here, is someone experiencing actual pain. So maybe they broke their arm. And this is the brain on the right here is looking at the brain imaging of someone who is empathy, so looking at someone in pain. So their, the neurons are firing here in the same places that they're firing here. So it's almost like they're experiencing the same pain. The only thing they're not experiencing, if you look up here, remember what's up here on the top of my head, is the somatosensory, right? So they're not actually experiencing the pain, but they're feeling it or empathizing with it in the same part of, of the brain as the person who's actually in pain. So those are mirror neurons that they you, you're mirroring the emotions or the things that are going on around you. Bandura experiment. Bandura was a, a behavioral scientist who did a lot of experiments on this monkey see, monkey do um, a phenomenon. So he used something called the Bobo doll and it was this, I'm going to flip next to his experiments, um, it was this right here which is like one of those stand-up scary clowns things that when you hit it it comes back up. So here is the experiment. They took a child and put him in one of two rooms. First one was the had the Bobo doll in it and there was just the mom kind of playing to the side um, being nice with the doll and then in the second room there's a mom beating up the Bobo doll all right so just going to town on the Bobo doll saying like stop it don't do that you're a bad clown and the mom was experiencing like anger right so beating up on the Bobo doll versus the other um, and then so what they did so in the other room, there's no violence with Bobo doll. Then what they did is they took these poor children, put them in a room of toys, and said, you can't play with these toys. They're for other children. You have to sit here. So they made the child angry, right? So they're trying to elicit anger in the, um, the child. Then they put them into a room with the Bobo doll again. All right, so there's people that had seen the Bobo doll being beat up, kids that had not. Now you can kind of expect what happened. The kids that had seen their parents beating up on the Bobo doll when they were upset took the Bobo doll and beat it up, right? They were angry and they were saying, don't do that Bobo doll, like, and were mimicking their parents. The ones that had not seen that happen did not uh, have the same type of reaction with the Bobo doll. Okay, so we call this type of observational learning can either be pro-social or anti-social. So you can think pro meaning positive, anti meaning against, okay? So pro-social effects are things that are positive types of, of, um, of behavior, sorry, that people mimic, all right? So 
If you want to have your child read a lot, you should read to them. If you want them to say please and thank you, you should say please and thank you. If you want them to not text while they're driving, you should not text while you're driving, all right? Because that's observational. That's saying that um, children uh, do what they see, not what they hear. So if you're telling your, your child, like, you shouldn't use bad language, but you use bad language, they're still going to, right? So that's pro-social. You want to model the positive things. Um, Anti-social effects are a lot of interesting experiments done with children that watch violent uh, TV when they're young are more likely to get in fights in school. So anti-social, meaning that they will they will mimic what is what they see that's bad. Okay, um, you can kind of take away with this what you what you want to, but think about if when you're trying to teach someone to do something whether this is your friend or your parents or when you have children in 15 years after you have a job um, how will you want them to learn uh, and and how would you want them to what part are you going to play in that right so what will be your modeling role uh, we'll talk a little bit more about this on some interesting things done in Canada with violent video games um, but that is the end of our learning note so observational learning learning by seeing not necessarily by being rewarded okay have a good one we'll see you later